I just uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I just realized yeah. since he doesn't have headphones, the intro song is going to be very weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We play a song over the headphones and then we sing to it for a little little intro bit. So you're gonna get the acapella version. <clears throat> okay. So you're what's today? Let's all just sit here, can we? <laughs> and then all of a sudden sing. So just get ready. It's, it's gonna be weird. Because I don't have any headphones. Yeah. yeah. What's the real date, Dave? 17th. Yeah. Are you August seventeenth. Sure? That's correct. <laughs> this is for August seventeenth. Wait a minute. It's not that yet. This is the future. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Listen to this. We're playing a game. It's a swing and a miss. Then we're the ones to blame. Would be remiss if it was ever the same. You're wasting all the time. Another hour gone. Did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time. Recorded for Thursday, August 17th, 2017. Nah. Hello! Hey. Hey. And welcome to Wasting All the Time. A podcast! My name is Dave. I'm John. Uh, I'm Cody. And returning again, once again, is our friend. It's me, Casey, the greatest. This is episode <laughs> 234. 234. That's a lot. It's, it is, too, some would say, 233 episodes too many. Mm. <laughs> I think you, aren't you just 34 say, episodes Ooh, too many. Ooh, that's cool. It's sequential. <laughs> and some would Those say, are our favorite listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Keep, uh, let's kick things off with a little bit called, what day is this? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> it's just a little bit. Ooh. Uh, okay. A little bit. Yes, John. What do you define a little bit as? Um, His penis. <laughs> Smaller than a big bit. What do you define no a big bit as? My penis. <laughs> Your answers are here. What? Um, you need to ask Dave. Casey's got it. <laughs> what is the capital? No. What day is it? Well, I will tell you that, as we were saying, it is the 17th of August. And according to the National Day Calendar, which can be found at nationaldaycalendar.com. Classic. That makes it National Nonprofit Day. Boo. Ooh. National Massachusetts Day. Oh, I'm National sure that mass word was going. I love my feet day. <laughs> Can I love other people's feet? And oh. National Thrift Shop. Not day. today. Oh, not today. <laughs> Which of those would you like to hear about? Uh, well, I think most of our <laughs> listeners must be fetishists of some kind. So let's hear so about the feet. Thrift shop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put F into my search engine. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a doozy, isn't it? That's its, yeah. that's its own fetish. Don't put things into the search engine. <laughs> you know, they have incognito windows for that. Oh. So I just my iPhone because that way it's like, can't those not get viruses or something? I don't think you know how sex works. <laughs> <laughs> National I Love My Feet Day is observed annually on August 17th. This is a day to appreciate how valuable our feet are, to practice good foot care and pamper foot our care. Fri- Pamper them. Is there Swedish Tourette's kicking in? Practice your good foot care? That is the origin of feet. Sweden? <laughs> no, Tourette's. <laughs> That's why they call the land Tourette's Trill. Because <laughs> you cross it on foot. Hello. <laughs> our feet are our primary mode of transportation. My legs are mine. <laughs> they quietly and faithfully help us stand, swim, run, walk, play sports, jog, <laughs> skip, and dance. What about chess? They do not help with chess. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that. they're a hindrance. <laughs> they take us to school and work. I don't go to school. <laughs> our I don't feet... work. <laughs> Our feet withstand all the things we do in our everyday lives and accomplish things our hands cannot. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, 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 not all things necessarily. I, but, I mean, uh, our hands can do everything our feet yeah, do. What can feet do that more. hands can't? They're feet plus. <laughs> feet plus. <laughs> Taking care of our feet is important for preventing long term problems mm. like war. <laughs> Years of wear and tear can be hard on them, as can disease, bad circulation, improperly trimmed toenails, mm. and poorly fitting shoes. So. Right up there with disease. <laughs> <laughs> poorly fitting shoes. Practicing good foot care is easy. Elevating your feet when you sit is a relaxing way to help reduce swelling. Stretching, walking, or having a gentle foot massage aids circulation. Yeah, this is where it gets weird. <laughs> this is what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Dave, oh, give it to us. A warm foot bath is also helpful. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Make sure your feet are dry before putting on shoes. <laughs> Wearing <laughs> shoes when outside <laughs> provides your feet better protection. No way. <laughs> Just to say any at all. Adding protection adds protection. No way. 75% of the adult population has a foot problem and improper shoe cert. And improper shoe choices account for the majority of How those problems. How the hell did you get cert out of problem? I was reading ahead. Uh, nerd. Wearing properly fitted shoes with good arch support, getting foot massages and regular pedicures can reduce foot problems. It's a if you have mention of massages. Hmm. Mm. And they, also, they talk about feet a lot in this. <laughs> if you have persistent foot pain, consulting a podiatrist can help. For more good foot care <laughs> tips and information on I Love My Feet Day, click on one of these links. And then there are links. No way. <laughs> to go to like a specific foot doctor, because that sounds like something they do. Um, I mean, I could go to one of these links and let you know what I see. That sounds terrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's porn. Oh. Oh. How to observe. Pamper your feet today with a foot massage or pedicure. Share That's photos. Three. That's three. Share, me. Oh, share photos of your rejuvenated feet on social Yum, media. Oh. Using hashtag I love my feet day. History. National I Love My Feet Day was submitted by Carolyn D. Jenkins in May of 2015. That's a mm. fake name. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, <laughs> right. <laughs> The Registrar National Day Calendar declared National I Love My Feet Day to be observed annually on August 17th. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> if that's that is so indeed calm. your real name, which Beautiful. it isn't. KJ. No, Carolyn's with a C. Really? In yeah, this case, right? it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Spelling's stupid. <laughs> I thought you hated math. I do, and spelling. Hey, there's so uh, this is the, the podiatry uh, school, school for podiatrists. Yes, we, yeah. um, we educate and train podiatrists. Mm-hmm. I, I want to sign up. I want to sign up for podiatry. You, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, want to sign up? So, you have any experience, or is this your first? Uh... I, I I have seen so many feet. I've I've looked at a lot of feet. Um, I feel like I I really have a handle on the whole foot thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I could um, I think I could really uh, you know have some fun and 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 do some good. Okay. Well, um, here's a tablet. Our application is online. So oh. if you want to go ahead and just sit down and, and fill out the application, it, it's basically going to ask you about your previous experience, your education. Sure, sure, you, yeah. You know, do you have letters of recommendation and so forth? Or? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. if you have any questions at all, go ahead and, and just ask. Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, th- for the letters of recommendation, um, do what, – what are you looking for? Because there's, there's a lot of um, – there's a lot of ladies who would – uh, give me glowing reviews, uh, but I don't know if you're looking for um, people with credentials or if just like people who whose feet I've made feel good. Um, oh, okay, I see. Um, well, normally we're just looking for letters from some sort of educator. Or okay, well, one of them I some... think was an elementary school prin- principal. Okay. <laughs> Um, um, so she could, I'm, I'm sure she would be fine writing that on a letterhead. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any other recommendations or what, what do you, do you have a degree or? Uh, yeah, I've got a degree in, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not in anything, you know, in the medical field. Mm, uh, mm-hmm. it's, um, it's in, uh, creative writing. Uh, <laughs> I write some, um. Some some stories online uh, that okay. a lot of people seem to like them. Um, sure. And I so make, why may I, just as a personal question because I'm a curious receptionist. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, why do you want to become a podiatrist? Uh, b- well, to help with uh, feet. I think I'm good at feet. You're good at feet. I'm good at feet. Um, I like feet. Mm-hmm. Um, feet are the best. Um. And I've been told that um, it it feels really good when when okay. I when I do feet. Um, well, we're still going to need you to fill out that application, but you know you've got me c- curious. Uh, so uh, let me get Doctor Doctor Menon. Okay, Doctor Menon. He can ask you some more technical questions okay. about podiatry and feet. Um, cool. 
Just to talk to Menon? Uh, yes, yes, yes. What's up? We have a, a potential applicant here. Um, oh, hello. I thought maybe you could ask him some questions about uh, podiatry and why he wants to get into it and you know, get into the technical yeah. details. No, there. definitely, definitely. What's your name, son? Uh, I'm Lou. Those are great sandals. I love those sandals. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It took me a long time to make them. I make my own sandals. Oh, you make your own sandals? Yes, wow, yes, I do. It, it really... Um, <laughs> they fit really, my feet perfectly. Mm, yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they really very, do. They hug the curves, one might say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those are uh, there's some uh, <coughs> anyway, yeah, some so lucky <laughs> some lucky sandals there. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, so, so what'd you say? What'd you say your name was? Uh, Lou. Uh, my name is Lou. 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 Lou Sanders. Lou and, Sanders. Um, okay. And I uh, I just I, I really want to get into uh, to foot school. Okay. Um, so what, what would you say is your favorite part of the foot? Oh wow, it's hard to pick. Um, I would say um, oh, I would say like. You know the little, that little place like like right between the toes, <laughs> like right like right up, it, like if you get between the toe and you go like just just like the the little groove in there. We we, we call that the toe crotch. The toe crotch. Yes, yeah, yes. that that's my that's, favorite. That is it's that, it's, it's pretty popular. Favorite. It's yeah, pretty popular. Mm, I like that part. Actually, that's why I designed my sandals to uh, massage the toe crotch. I see that it's it's, it's pretty cool. Would you like to we, we, we see? Go ahead, give it a feel. Here, try try the try the try the. <laughs> oh, stuff. I can't. Oh, yeah, or you can okay. try them. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm just uh, gonna. What do, um, what do you think? I noticed we have pretty similar feet. So. Yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. I'm mm-hmm, just gonna mm-hmm. slide my foot right in. Let me let me help oh. you a little. Mm, yeah, Lou. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a question about this application. Mm-hmm. That you just... kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um. Well, it's just where it, in all of the fields mm-hmm. where you were supposed to write information like your social security, uh-huh. education, your curriculum vitae, right. and all, uh-huh. you wrote, um, I love feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take a look at that. Let me take a look at that. Um, Dr. Yeah, give it to, thank you, thing. Sure. Uh, this all checks out. I, th- this all checks out. Well, it's just I, uh, the information. No, I, I, I have the information and it checks out. I am the doctor. <laughs> You're the receptionist. This checks out. Yes, Dr. Menon. So, Lou, if you want to... Actually, if you want to come on back now, I can give you an, an interview. Oh, that I would love uh, that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, it was very nice meeting you, re- uh, receptionist. I'm going to go into the doctor's I'm office sure. now. <laughs> give you a private admission and, um, yeah, into our school. <laughs> I you addressed him as receptionist. <laughs> nice to meet you, receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was an interesting thing that happened. <laughs> Those were words? We said them. them. <laughs> Good job. Probably. Okay. <laughs> All right. I feel a lot closer to you now. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> We call that the toe crotch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Cue angry emails from actual podiatrists. <laughs> <laughs> Those are like, Are-ra. wow, how did you know toe crotch? <laughs> <laughs> Now you're on the podiatrist assassination list. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I hope they're going to give you the boot. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'll just shoo them away. <laughs> um. You're really towing the line. <laughs> That's my sole purpose. <laughs> you're such a heel. <laughs> Crocs. <laughs> John's like our arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, Nailed it. Do they show up in fans? <laughs> Let's move it right along. <laughs> sounds like a great idea. Twitter shins. Twitter shins. Welcome to Twitter Shin Rapid Balls, where we find the top three tweets on the entire Intosphere, and we read them for our pundits here today. We have a triple pundit extravaganza going on. I'm going to find the top three tweets. They're not even addressed to us. That's how good we are. We're going to answer tweets that people don't know we're answering. You're welcome, Internet. Here we go. Top tweet number three from In Rehab Mubot at, oh, Lady Mubot. At Lady Mubot. Short tweet to the point. Am I drunk? Dave. You sure ain't drunk. (laughs) 
John Rebuttal. I'm very nauseous right now, so I'd like to cede my time to Casey. Casey. Well, if you're not drunk, you definitely should be drunk because that's what all the cool kids are doing these days. That's what they tell me. My high school daughter and her friends come over and party every night, and I don't want that to take that direction, no. so I'm going to stop right now. <laughs> all right, self-incriminating. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. So were her friends. Top tweet number two. <laughs> oh, damn it. Top tweet. Hold on, stop, stop. <laughs> I really was not trying to go the pedophile route, I swear. It was like my high school daughter. I was, I was, party. I was like, holy shit, I was dude. I trying to go like, oh, I'm, I'm hanging out. Like, I'm trying to be cool and hanging out with high school kids. But it was like, no, no, no. That just went pedophile route. I swear that wasn't my intention. Okay. You want to take that one again? Yeah, yeah, no. let's check. No? <laughs> no. Yeah, improv is... Improv. Improv is improv. Casey's going to prison. <laughs> Number two top tweet from Senseful. At Senseful sure underscore. Casey has some great things to say about this one, too. <laughs> <laughs> At Senseful underscore. I might play for a lil who wanna run wagers, Casey. Well, whenever I play for a lil, I never do because that's wrong. <laughs> Short, sweet, and fifth amendment tea. John. Seriously, I think I'm going to throw up any minute now. I'd like to cede my time to Dave. Dave. Uh, I'll run the wagers for you uh, as long as I get a cut. Excellent. Wheeling and or dealing. Because you know I like that cut. He does. Dave likes the cut. And. <laughs> that was close. Someone pulled a Casey. <laughs> Said something unforgivable and horrific. <laughs> going for. <laughs> Doesn't make it any less awful. And the top number one tweet on the entire internet. Read for you. From Crown Namjin Crown at what the fuck? Hicks Tape Gone I can't even read this. Hicks Tape Gone Billet. Sure. At Hicks Tape Gone Billet Namjin. Seriously? Also, I should point out that this is written in the cool online style where every like third letter is lowercase and the rest are capitalized. Oh. So have that in mind. I will. Actually, I can show you. I will, in my mind, I will think of that in half. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. Right in front of my salad? Dave. Sometimes the time and place indicates right in front of your salad. Sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it was, in fact, directly in front of your salad. Between, Ser yeah. Is that seriously? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you having a stroke? Of genius? <laughs> Or another kind, John. <laughs> All right, hopefully John's dead. Casey. Well, normally in <clears throat> front of salads, as I tend to do right in front of the salad, I always make sure every local and federal law is being followed <laughs> to the T. Cop out. I love it. This has been Twitter Shin Ball Rapids. Seriously. <laughs> well, I guess I'm never running for office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that's what's stopping you. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've ruined your show. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move it right along, shall we? We shall, and we will. Casey, do you want to move it right along? I do. Do we want to move forward with this? Okay, God, okay let's, let's do that then. And now it's time for Listener Suggested Scenes. Listener Suggested Scenes. Uh, da, da, da. We have we have a few lately. Thank you very much to a lot of our friends who are sending in our scenes, uh, digging through them. If you would like to send in some scene suggestions, you may do so at wastingallthetime.com slash contact or email us at timewastepod at gmail.com. This scene comes from the internet, literally from a name, someone named B. Chrissy. A new head manager is hired onto an existing team and the team members are not impressed with his leadership style. So that sounds... There we go. New new, new manager, team members not impressed. Does anyone want to be said manager? Yeah, I'll be the manager. Anyone <clears throat> at all, just speak right up. Dave? I would like... Anyone? No? Okay. Manage. Well, let's skip that one, too. <laughs> let's skip that one. <laughs> hey, uh, well, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and step out for a bit. Um, let me know if you need any help with anything. This is 
This is literally the orientation. We we just said you're down. here to mm-hmm. tell us what we're doing here. Yeah, a new mission statement, new uh, new vision statement, new new mission vision signing statement. I'm yeah. not even so, sure uh, what sport this is. So just let me know, but I'll be uh, I'll be outside. Okay. Okay. Are okay, we are we I'm, coming with you outside? Wait, wait, wait I'm going to okay, try something, okay, Todd. Okay. Okay. Um, I need help. Okay. Oh, good, oh good okay. Go, okay. go ahead. Uh, I need help. Uh, in the form of you running your orientation. Nice. Um, nice. Presentation. Plus. Solid. That was plus ultra. That's that would why be helpful the for me if you ran that. He is the captain. Okay. Um, well, uh, I just, I like, uh, you know, self-starters generally in my company. Um, and, uh, well, you know, it would be nice if... Uh, I'm, and I'm, I'm... Starting the process of asking you to start mm. yourself okay. as our manager. Just generally, I like it when uh, my employees are able to, you know, fend for themselves a little bit <laughs> and mm-hmm. don't need me to play Mama Bird okay. and uh, um, regurgitate everything straight into your mouth. Right. Well, uh, that's gross. Yeah, it's just that, you know, you scheduled this meeting, <laughs> sir. Yeah. Uh, you scheduled it as mm-hmm. um, yeah, passing boss. the torch orientation. Um, there's an agenda mm-hmm. that you are on. Yeah. Uh, you are – it says signing statement, Jack Davidson. Um, vision statement, Jack Davidson. Yes. Mission statement. Mm-hmm. Jack Davidson. Mm-hmm. I'm all those things. Um, official welcome, Jack Davidson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm just I'm I'm just asking that you fulfill the contract implied by this agenda. Okay. Um, Damn, you're like a lawyer. The, are are there time codes associated with those events, or are they just the general order of things? Uh, yeah. At, up at the top, it says. Um, Eight thirty to noon. Okay, I made it. I made, I made the agenda. I, I know mm-hmm. it's on there. Right, okay. and it, and there are time codes. I'm just saying yes. I wanted to step outside for a minute so that you two and three can discuss things. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's nine o'clock and now, you... and we do kind of want to <laughs> get back to doing our jobs, mm. sir. Oh, I thought you didn't know how. I'm sorry. Don't nope. you need me to tell you how to do your job? No, our jobs we know how to do, but we would like you to start the meeting and, and run the meeting so yeah. that we can go back to our jobs after sitting through this bullshit. Mm. Oh, no. I'm sorry, sir. Now I'm you've sorry. done it. Mm. Oh, it's like the hot temper, it. Kyle. Mm. You know I was there, right? You know I was there when the shit got spread all over town? The rodeo? Yeah. College break Lots of people died. Wait, they did? I thought it was just shit everywhere. No, the clowns, the rodeo clowns, they all drowned. In shit? Yeah. Fuck. That's gross. But that's not to the point. Can we talk about that, though? I. That's actually a really cool story, sir. Right? It would forgive a lot if yeah. you told us about all that. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's it's not on the agenda. I can't. Okay. I can't. It's, so it's, is I that why you wanted to all. step outside so you could do, like, a thousand-yard stare? Um <gasps> While a flashback played in your head. Oh, that's good. Of all the terrible things, while sad violin music played. Mm-hmm. Mark, did you bring your violin? Yeah, yeah, actually I did. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, boss, can we do that? Can we do that? Do you want me to play you it? You play violin? I do, very wonderfully, actually. Well, by all means, c- commence. You're, you're playing. Okay, I, I will. Right Ooh. now. I mean, that's... Are you, do you think you're going to cry while it happens, or just like it's a likely. Like Does a anyone, stony... have any t- anyone, anyone have any facial tissues? <laughs> Um, mm, I have other kinds of tissues. You can use them on your face. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so if he's going to cry, yeah. uh, you should play Pavan for a Dead Princess. Oh, that's one of my favorites because I know that song. Cool, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, the best of times. It was the worst of times. Oh, this is shit. I've heard oh, that before. Is that in the public domain? We're going to get sued. What? Uh, what do you mean? Yep. Come on. <laughs> yep, they got us. <laughs> Jesus. Why are you leaving? Oh, this is dumb. I'm going to go play. Got to get back else. to work, yeah. man. No, I, we hadn't started. Oh, 
All right. Uh, so I don't know what just happened. I <laughs> not the prompt. I, well, I, yeah, well, all of a sudden it turned into a business. <laughs> yeah. Casey dropped a couple things about, I don't know what sport. Because the thing is that it was, it was a sport. Oh, and so I'm no, like, shit. It did? It's a, a new head manager is hired onto oh. an existing team, and the yeah. team members are not impressed with his leadership oh, style. I like a manager of a team. And then so I was like, oh, what sport is this? I'm like, oh, you're the captain, blah, blah, blah. And then oh. you're like, I'm the boss, and it's like yeah, your I, office. Stuff. I took it to mean like a business team. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I thought that the point of the scene was the employees were going to discuss what they didn't like about. That's why you were trying to bail. Oh. oh. I thought it was like, yeah, the new team manager came in. Oh. And he was trying to give us like a pep talk or whatever as the new team manager, and we weren't cool with it. Yeah, <laughs> I just thought instead of trying to come up with ways to manage badly – to like demonstrate bad management, mm -hmm. oh. I would just let you guys talk about each of you, like oh. what pet peeves you had. Oh boy! That wow, was... we did not communicate well now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was an interesting scene, nonetheless. But I got to play violin. You did. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, did. Yep. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this next one, I'm not sure if it's if it's really a scene or if it's a question specifically. Um, it's a very intriguing voicemail. Mm. I think. Um, I don't know I, uh, you know, if you remember a little while ago, uh, John was gallivanting about the countryside, and we had some we had some new hosts that all got fired because they were terrible. Yep. All I'm, of them. I'm, I am I am right here. You were awful. I am literally in the room. <laughs> yeah, it was it was bad. It was bad for business. Anyway, uh, we got one of the voicemails that I kind of had to analyze for a bit. I wasn't sure whether or not to play it, but I think I think it's important that we all hear it now at the same time. So mm. there we go. Uh, it's John. I, uh, I got a little bit of a problem. I, uh, I just woke up on a table in a room and I'm not, uh, I'm not quite sure where I am. Uh, um, it does appear though that I, uh, well, I'm, I'm in another person's body. So, yeah. Uh, the, the good news is that I seem to be a bit younger, and, uh, well, it looks like my genitals have increased in size. So, yeah, a couple of big wins there for sure. Um, but I am a little bit concerned about where my body is. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, heads up. Um, if you see me, like, walking around, I mean, like, my body, it's probably an imposter like maybe somebody took my body and left me with this one so i think i saw this in a movie once like with Lindsay lohan or something I'm pretty sure i just need to get some fortune cookies and i should be fine but um anyway i i thought it might be a good idea to uh well uh you know if you see my body maybe capture it maybe we can find out what's going on i uh don't 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 hurt my body or anything if you catch it like I don't, I don't want you to kill it or anything. So yeah, maybe just tie it up or something till we figure out where I am. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get out of this room that I'm in. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I can hear people coming down the hall. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, so yeah, heads up on the imposter thing and, uh, hope the podcast is going well. Call me back. That was a fun day. <laughs> I remember that. Sounds like it. So we, are you the imposter? Oh. Uh, is this the imposter body? Do we need to knock you unconscious? What is the most comfortable thing for you to believe? <sighs> That's rough. Um, I oh, I know how we can figure this out. We're in oh, something. Hey, John. Yeah? Are you uh, happy with the size of your genitals? Uh, ooh, um, I feel like that's kind of a loaded question. It's uh, very simple. <laughs> I'm going to say no for me, so you just go ahead and answer. Like, what, what, um, what do you got? Uh, um, you're like, no, you're not satisfied size with of his the size genitals? of my genitals? All of them. Everything. Oh. <laughs> Genital sizes do not make me happy. <laughs> okay. Um. How do you feel? I guess, no. So that is John. That sounds clear. That's a, that's basically that resolves nicely. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I can't really see any way this could possibly go wrong in no. any way, shape, or form in the future. That's good. I'm glad we got that clarified. All right, mm, nice. Tiny Dick John. Thanks very much. Anything else? T D J. T D J. I'm 
and so it was for all time. <laughs> he was a TDJ. <laughs> we do, as a matter of fact, <laughs> have another one. Oh, from the internet voicemails. <laughs> Theme suggestion. You're all mad cat poets, man. Can you dig it, yo? You're in a competition of sorts. It's up to you to all create bad poetry, man. And your prompt is toast. Mad. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it's this. All right. Fine. I'll start it off. All right, yeah. I think I'm going to set the bar. Set the bar high. You want a beat? Yeah, give me a beat. Give me a beat. Crispy, crunchy, celibate toast. <laughs> no, the most is the roast in the most. <laughs> Give me that butter. Give me that spread. Give me that mm, bread. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. Who's brave? Who's brave? Step up, step up, step up. All right, I got this. <laughs> I got this, guys. Did, did you want to beat? No. Oh. This is free form. Michael Jackson's doing poetry for us. I am a lady, thank you very much. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. Toast. <laughs> My vagina. Angry. Patriarchs. Toaster. The masses. Finn. Okay, but this is like a best out of three, right? Three rounds? Because I, I, uh... No, definitely, that's it. Okay, good. All right, TDJ, you got something? Yeah, I got something. Hey, uh, did you uh, oh, did you want, did hmm? you want a, a beat? Mm. Just um, just the just the rhythmic beating of the heart within my heart. Oh, That's heartception. So no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. All right, All right Okay. Toast. Toast. Toast with jam on it. No butter for my toast. That was groovy. Okay. All right. And the winner is... No, we're, we haven't gone through yet. Oh. <laughs> I, need, I need another chance. Okay. There's no winner yet. <laughs> like I said, it's three out of something. Yeah. Go ahead. What about you? I'm the, I'm the, I almost said the Mater D. I'm the organizer. Do you know who you are? No, I don't, man. <laughs> That's why I'm running things. <laughs> Thank you, John. That was... <laughs> Take that, meters. Yo, <laughs> God. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Why is this waveform just a block? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fun. <laughs> Patriarchy. <laughs> like how Dave's immediate response was the character is how much better that one was. Like, oh, we got another yeah, chance, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solidly done, Jeff. Oh, exciting. Mm. Solidly done all around. All right. Let's move it right along. We should. We definitely should. We should have sooner. Let's go. <laughs> sure about that. Gives me the shiveries every time. Mm-hmm. Every time. Okay. Um, 
This question, I don't know if it counts as a question. Um, does it have a question mark? It does not. Then it's not a question. But it might be, because it doesn't say scene suggestion. <coughs> Whoa. Uh, it's from Miles Logan. Mm. Miles, uh, and we may need to get a little uh, multicultural with this. Tango El Gato, Los Pantalones. What do you What do you guys make of that? Tango, Tango El Gato, Los Pantalones. I have a cat. The pants. Is that like a colloquialism for something? Um, I don't think so. I think that one's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, you got anything? You're 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 kind of weird, internationally wise. Um, I can't say I've had a cat. And pants at the... Well, no, I have had a cat. No, I never had a cat. Well, I might have. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with Dave on this one. John, <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Um, well, it's complicated. Building on what Casey was talking about, I, I have a cat, and it may or may not have pants. Right, cat pants. Because I put him in a box. Uh, with a pair of pants. Okay, okay. And I have not opened that box in six months. That, that So the cat's dead. But did he put the pants on? I don't know. Uh-huh. So right now, I both have a cat with pants, and I don't have a cat with pants. So would it wear it on its back legs or its front legs? You just blew this wide open. <laughs> right? Cat pants. Not just for back legs anymore. Do, 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 do. Cat pants. <laughs> do we have others? We do. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, This one actually, if you'll excuse the unintentional horrific pun, seems right up Casey's alley. <laughs> this is from An Uncomfortable Silence. Mm. They you. ask, is it true... Is it true that the sound effects for sex scenes in movies are made by someone fisting a jar of mayonnaise? I mean, that's how I make mine. <laughs> um, like at your home studio. Correct. I'm not going to say that's how they do all of them. It's a good one. And also, you get to fist a jar of mayonnaise. Like, it's a win-win. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yes, and also yes. Yeah, again, building on what uh, Cody's talking, uh, Casey is talking about. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Um, (laughs) 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 Uh, I know for a fact that all of the (laughs) sex scenes in in Disney animated features (laughs) are, you know, are sound designed uh, using that technique. Okay. Yeah, so Lion King, Little Mermaid, um, Shrek. Snow White? Snow White, yeah. Wow. Even Snow White. That was when they uh, so first... So organic. Yeah, that was when they first developed the technique. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, is Shrek Disney? No, it's DreamWorks. Know. It's probably not. Yeah. I, I just said it's animated, Shrek. it's Disney. Who cares? I knew John was uh, a full of shit liar, so I just wanted yeah. to let it go. For sure, Disney let it owns go? Pixar yeah. and DreamWorks. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. if we're going to be really technical... I don't think um, we should. Shrek, they used uh, a jar of Miracle Whip. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, that's a little off-brand. Mm. Yeah, No, it's actually quite on-brand. Oh, yeah, that got that backwards, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. All right. Dave, do you have any insight on that? Yep. Are you going to share it with us? On, on, on mayonnaise jar fisting? No. Nope. No. Thank you. Cool. This next question comes from an enraged wombat. Hmm. This question, who provides better customer service, Comcast or American Airlines? Dave, what do you got? So when you're going to fist mayonnaise, <laughs> I recommend you uh, wear a glove. Okay, no, that's good. You, did you have to warm up to that? Hmm? Did you have to warm up to that? <laughs> no, you don't have to warm up anything. Really? Cold mayonnaise works? Yeah. Casey, have you fisted anyone from Comcast? Uh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite sometimes, actually. That's how I get their payment, actually. Uh, when they come to the the apartment, or no, I have a house now. When they come to the house, <laughs> you know, I just give them a good fisting, and boom, no internet. John, have you ever flown American Airlines into a jar of mayonnaise while Comcast fists you? Uh, not, not in that exact order. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, and at the end also, 
from a ping pong mascot. <laughs> That's racist. Like, it's not, though. <laughs> Where is my ice cream cone, John? It's um, It actually fell into the star of mayonnaise. I'm sorry. Oh. And then I put on a glove and I fisted it. Right. And it kind of crushed it. Ugh. What kind of cone is it? Waffle or sugar or... Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you kind of ran the gamut there. <laughs> it was well, there's those like oh, okay, little kitty cones. No. There's like the wafer ones. Those hardly count. Yeah. <laughs> oh, chocolate dips. Yeah, but it's a waffle, but it, with chocolate. It, it's, it's a different kind. They charge you more for it. Just doesn't mean it's different. They just mean they charge you more. Well, I mean, it's different, but it's the same waffle. Boom. Mic drop. It's waffle. I can't drop the mic. It's on a stand, but mic drop. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> God, it's like it caused him physical pain. <laughs> that was... That was fantastic. Well, Dave ever makes me mad. I'm just gonna send him a noise clip of dong. He's like, Ugh. let's move it right along. Yeah, I would suggest that. Inmates use peanut butter to dupe prison guard in mass jailbreak. Okay. Peanut butter was the secret behind a mass jailbreak of 12 prisoners, with one escaped convict remaining at large. The group at Walker County Jail in Alabama, U- United States, craftily used the spread taken from prison sandwiches to alter the number of an inmate's cell door to a number of identifying a door leading outside. When an inmate then asked a newly employed guard to open his cell's door, the inexperienced prison guard, who was watching on closed-circuit camera from a control room, inadvertently opened the outside door. No! That's pretty tight. The group subsequently fled outside at around 6.20 p.m. local time on Sunday and used blankets to climb over the prison's wire, razor wire fence in less than 10 minutes. Despite 11 of the group being recaptured within eight hours, 24-year-old Brady Kilpatrick, who had been jailed on drugs charges, was still on the run on Monday. A helicopter was being used to hunt the sole remaining fugitive while off-duty police officers were drafted in to help. A $500 reward was offered for information leading to an arrest. Of the group, who are aged between 18 and 30, two had been imprisoned on attempted murder charges. I feel safe. I don't know about you guys. Commenting on the unusual tactic used to fool the prison guard, local sheriff James Underwood said, It may sound crazy, but these kinds of people are crazy like a fox. He thought he was opening the cell door for this man to go into his cell, but in fact, he opened up the outside door. <laughs> Thanks, we got that. <laughs> Escapes happen. <laughs> yeah. We've got some evil people down here, and they scheme all the time to con us and our employees at the jail. You've got to stay on your toes. This is one time we slipped up. I'm not going to make any excuses. That's... Uh, wow. <laughs> what... Hi, um, uh, I need to make a withdrawal. A withdrawal, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just, uh, yeah, I need to make a withdrawal from this this account right here. Okay, this account. Um, now, sir, you know that this is the mess hall of the prison. R- right, you, you got a cash register, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I need to make a withdrawal from that because I'm the banker. Okay, okay. This is my banker ID. See, it uh, says banker on it, and I drew a nice picture of myself. Okay, sure. Uh, so how much do you need? 400? Four hundred? Oh, 400. Yeah, um, it's very important for the accounts uh, that I'm balancing. I don't know if I have – let me um, – yeah, I've only got – I've only got seventy five dollars. Oh, that's uh, oh, the, in the register here. The, I'm gonna have to call. Yeah. Uh, call a 
the mess hall manager. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, just, you do that. Tell him um, that the bank needs it. Hey, uh, hey, Phil, Phil, could you come over here real yeah. quick? Just got a question. Uh, so the banker <laughs> needs four hundred dollars. I only have seventy five in the register. Okay. Um, could I get another couple trays so I could give him his withdrawal? It's very yeah. How many? Um, I guess this tray has seventy five. So, um. Like five trays? Five trays? Okay. Yeah. Do I need to bring like that the actual tray or could I just bring the cash? I guess you could just bring the cash. Yeah. Yeah, no, just just the cash is fine. We don't work with trays at mm. the bank. And where do we log the account numbers? Um I think just stick it under the drawer. Under the drawer? Yeah. Okay. Like what you would do with a check. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a super official account number. Uh my my accountant at the bank did it for me. Uh-huh. Yeah, he might be by later to get more because oh, okay. it's like I, you know, we can only get so much uh, per uh, deposit, I guess. So yeah. Oh, cool. Look yeah, out I'll, for I'll make sure that we get Mike. more more cash down yeah. here then for that. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this, um, and the the accountant should be by shortly. Okay. Oh, that's cool. great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, gentlemen. Oh yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Do uh, you want the mashed potatoes? Yeah, go and box those up for me. Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. Oh, hi there. Hi. Uh, uh, what can I get you today? Uh, my name is Mike. You may have heard of me from my associate earlier. Oh, are you the accountant? Yeah. Oh, hi there. <laughs> hello. I would it's like just... to make a withdrawal. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, from the what account number? One. Yeah, that's what the paper says. Okay, okay. excellent. Thank you. I would like a uh, thirteen, please. Uh, thirteen dollars? No. Thirteen cents? Nope. Thirteen hundred? You got it. <laughs> Do we have thirteen hundred dollars? Um, I yeah. Did you want me to go get it or? That would be nice. I guess yeah. This is just weird. I don't remember this happening in training. I know. Well, I we are like professionals, were... so. I have my credentials here if you'd like to see I them. I mean, he's an accountant. I, I, I would. I would like to see your credentials. I don't know if we need to go through all, all right, that. Here you go. I mean, pay no mind. It's, it's crayon, but, pay, you know, it's, it's official. Okay. I mean, it's really nice cardstock. It is. <laughs> and what did you say your name was? I mean, was? it's bonded. My name is Mike. That's oh. It says it on the paper. <laughs> yeah. That checks out. He he also said it was crayon, and it is. So. <laughs> I'm not a liar. All right. Thank so, you. Mike, Thank you. Mike, um... Here you go, right out of the, fresh out of the safe. Ah, you're too kind. What'd you say your name was? All right, thank you. <laughs> I'll make sure to ask for you next time. That's that's Phil. Great. <laughs> fantastic, Phil. Ah, <laughs> fantastic, Phil. Okay. Uh, did that's you? I'll call you from now on. Did you want mashed potatoes? Uh, no. That sounds no. terrible. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> that's what there is. They're made here. That's why they sound terrible. Well, well I mean, we're doing good business, I guess. I guess, yeah. I mean, really moved a lot of I cash. Guess, I guess they don't <laughs> teach you bed, bedside manner in accountant school. No. Uh, Not a doctor. Uh, I guess he could be a doctor of accounting. I guess maybe. <laughs> he seemed smart. <laughs> he did. He's probably got degrees. Probably. Could I have some taters? You're not a prisoner. Oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was a little last scene at the end of them, like, figuring it out. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. With the positive spin. No, we're moving a lot of cash. This is good. <laughs> When you, you put it back in the prison, I was like, whoa, okay, like, here yeah, we go. I yeah, didn't know what you right. were going for at all. I was like, I, like, I'm walking up, I was in my head. I, I was figured like, it was a bank robbery was maybe what I, you were trying to I was doing to like, do. I'm going to make a withdrawal, and the teller's just like, yeah, no problem, what's your account? I'm oh. like, I don't know, this one? And he's like, sure, here's a bunch of money. <laughs> but I think that worked a lot better. <laughs> that, like, it's this prisoner <laughs> walking up to just the mess hall and being like, I'm a banker, give me the money to <laughs> save. <laughs> like even to Dave's like basically acquiescence of like 
no, okay, yeah, that sounds that sounds right. Like this, <laughs> even the manager's like, sure, let, let me just grab mm-hmm. the money. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't sure like how things would move forward if I was just like if you're stonewall. putting yeah. the yeah. kibosh yeah. on it. Yeah. No. yeah, I think that was a solid choice. Also, because I didn't have anything, if you had stonewalled it, it would have been like. <laughs> I guess more the same unless something led me. Yeah, the point is it's a lame plan that worked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Due to inexperience or lack of attention. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Or perhaps both. Dun, dun. I won't, won't do it. Won't play it. No, I'm not going to. Good. Mm. Do it. You better. Do it. Fine. He twisted my arm. Well, thanks so much for listening, everybody. You, everybody. We appreciate it very much. We really do. It's, it's so much fun doing this for you guys, and we're glad you, you like it. And thanks for all your input uh, and your time, honestly, listening to it. And for those of you who listen and give us money at patreon.com slash timewastepod. Among our sexiest of listeners. Mm-hmm. We extra appreciate it. Even Britishly, as Dave just demonstrated. Appreciate Appreciate. Right? That's British? With a U. I don't know. Because they had appreciate? No, they had used to things that shouldn't have used. That's true. We like moved you? Zebra. <laughs> or Zed. Zed. Both of those have unnecessary use. <laughs> Thanks, they're, Britland. They're silent. Aucklanders. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, everyone. And uh. until next time, my name is Dave. I'm John. I am Cody. And, and I- I and jumped in my intro. Thank you for joining us once again, Casey. That's me. I'm Casey. Casey, the greatest. There you go. The greatest. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I had fun. Good night, folks. If you enjoyed the show, then leave us a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere that lets you put in a review. You can call or text the show at area code 916-235-3337. If you'd like to interact with us in any other way, then www.wastingallthetime.com would be a great place to start. There you can submit listener-suggested scenes and questiones, you can buy your own copy of the Fruit Words card game, you can read blog posts from Ted and the Guys, and a whole lot more. So check it out at wastingallthetime.com. So I guess this has zero rubber bands in it. <laughs> oh. no. Can you just replace the mount? Keep moving it around, yeah. though. I think it's helping. <laughs> oh, now he's done, of course. <laughs> I was waiting for... God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, well, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and step out for a bit. Um, Let me know if you need any help with anything. Aw, yeah. This song goes out to our friend Will Reed, past and future guest, submitter of questiones, leaver of voicemails, designer of games, suggester of scenes, two-time co-host, all-around good guy, and more to the point, patron of this podcast. Thanks, Will. William Reed is a friend indeed, and he's been on our show now. Ninety damn times, Will, that's always two dimes, it's no wonder he knows how. Now, once as a host, when 
you needed him most. You bitch, a sweet ass!